can't do it. We've got an agenda. All right. Uh, well, it's fish fry season. I like good food. I don't have to cook because I'm a bachelor. And I went to a, a fish fry this past Friday uh, at a Catholic church in St. Paul. And I was doing my best to try to go in the way that they're directing you to. But uh, I knew I was running out of time on the allotment because I like watching Big Bang Theory reruns after work. And uh, I ended up going through what was the volunteer entrance, and then I had to ask, uh, all right, well, I'm not a volunteer, I just want to eat. So then they directed me to where I was to go to pay and all that. It's like, all right. And then uh, they kept telling me things like, well, we're out of coleslaw, uh, not a big deal. We're out of peach cobbler, not a big deal. I already ate some peaches before I got there. And then after I got my meal, they said, well, if you want more, you can have more. And it's like, Okay, uh, I guess I've been to uh, fish fries like that before where they don't want anything left over, but uh, I mean, if I'm good, I'm good. I, it, it was really odd that they had to keep asking me that. Uh, I'll probably go to a few more fish fries. I mean, uh, <laughs> why not? I mean, uh, the St. Paul paper prints uh, uh, it annually all the different places they have it, not just Catholic churches, but other organizations like veteran groups and some bars. So the same place that do booyahs in the fall that do that. I had to learn what booyahs were. It's like, okay. Hey, just like uh, I said earlier, I like good food I don't have to cook. Good that you like that one. Uh, well, uh, of course, sometimes you have to go grocery shopping, so... Uh, I, I still try to get a good look around at the stores that I, I go to, and when I was at, at High B this past Friday, I, I still look at the greeting card shop, even though uh, I don't uh, buy anything there that often. And I wanted to see what they had for uh, St. Patrick's Day, especially with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Uh, there was a, a really nice find there. Um, I uh, learned some while I was there because sometimes greeting cards, you open them and they play music. And in this case, it wasn't the Charlie Brown Snoopy theme song, which is officially known as Linus and Lucy. You can look it up, people. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and, uh, with this one, uh, I was really interested in it because they said the title of the song was Irish Washerwoman. I opened it and it's like, all right, yeah, I remember uh, that song in music class in uh, elementary school, except uh, they had a different name for it. Uh, it was called the St. Patrick's Potato Race, and I still remember the lyrics pretty well because there weren't that many of them. Old McTavish is dead and his brother don't know it. His brother is dead and McTavish don't know it. They're both of them dead and in the same bed and neither one knows the other is dead. And of course, because it was a potato race, we had to try to balance potatoes on our head, and because we were kids, we weren't very good at it. Uh, but, uh, I mean, finding that out was a lot like watching the Olympic Games one time, and they played the British National Anthem, and it's like, God save the Queen? Sure sounds like my country tis thee to me. Well, I guess that was back during a time when they didn't have a lot of copyright laws, and they could steal ideas for songs all the time. <laughs> uh. I wrote about that thanks to Garrison Keillor's Writer's Almanac about when they finally got copyright laws out there for writers, so I guess that's uh, true of uh, songs as well as novels. <coughs> so, there we go. Uh, Redbox. I know Ski likes to hear about the Redbox movies I see. Well, uh, I, the one I just saw was called She Ball, and because it was about a women's basketball league at a community center in Inglewood, California. And they really wanted to let you know it was Inglewood, California, because the transition scenes not only showed um, the football stadium under construction, but also uh, the basketball venue where the Lakers used to play. And I'm thinking, all right, how long ago was this filmed? It's like, this stadium has been open for a few years. They've already had the Super Bowl there. Uh, but uh, my <laughs> review of this one would be is, uh, if you like basketball, yeah, the basketball scenes work for you. But uh, I didn't like the lead actor in it that much, the main character that much, because he was a hypocrite. I guess it's all about what's in the script, but that doesn't mean I'm going to like every movie that comes down the pipe, or pipe, or whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, but thankfully with Redbox movies, I don't pay that much for them, uh, especially with discount codes. <laughs> they send them, why not use them? So uh, I'll come back to that one. Uh, oh, uh, because it's in the next story to tell. Yeah. I uh, just had a birthday last week, and what I like is that uh, I not only get a lot of birthday wishes on Facebook, I had more than 20, and I said I'd respond to them when I had the time. Well, I didn't respond until Sunday, uh, days later, but it's like, well, people gave a damn about me enough to send it. It's like I should respond and say thank you to all of them. Why not? Uh, but it's not only the birthday wishes I get from Facebook friends. Uh, what also uh, makes it worthwhile is some of the companies I have accounts with, will send me birthday offers to do more business with them. And I got four pretty good ones. Some of them just said happy birthday. It's like, okay, but uh, anybody can do that. What else you got for me? So there were four of them. Ikea, uh, free piece of cake, did that. Uh, Caribou Coffee, free coffee, did that. Got two more. Free Redbox movie, got two months to use that. And then uh, Speedway Gas Station points on that card, got a month to use that. So there we go. Uh, Tales from the Bank. Uh, well, this isn't the craziest story, but uh, we went to a buffet and they had uh, dragon statues out front. I had to get a picture of it. So uh, there we are. Uh, that'll do it for me. Thank you, Bowman Green. Woo!